I'm Ian Johnson, and today we're actually in the storage unit for the Big Tire Garage, but I'm going to talk you through all the pieces and components in a full hydraulic PSC Motorsports steering system. This is my Bomber Fab trail chassis. Now, right now it's in the middle of a complete rebuild because I had to replace the motor after losing it on a recent wheeling trip. But this is a perfect example of the type of vehicle you're gonna see with a full hydraulic steering system. You want that full hydraulic steering to be able to take advantage of all of the suspension travel that you get in a tube buggy like this because there's nothing connecting the steering wheel down to the front axle. So you can droop that suspension out as far as needed. As a matter of fact, this vehicle right here has over 19 inches of suspension travel in the front. Now, this full hydraulic PSC Motorsports steering system is specifically designed for this type of vehicle. But when it comes to picking the components that make up that full hydraulic steering system, well, it all starts at the pump. For most popular V8 applications, like in this particular case being an LS, PSC Motorsports is going to offer this pump right here. This is a 1405 remote fill P pump. It is a high flow, high pressure pump specifically designed for full hydraulic steering. But the most important thing to pay attention to when you install this pump is this remote fill line that comes from the reservoir. You want to make sure that the pump itself is below the reservoir so the line from the pump to the reservoir is running slightly uphill because it's only gravity that's feeding the fluid out of the reservoir into this pump. The pressurized fluid that comes from the pump then feeds into what is referred to as the orbital valve. Now PSC Motorsports uses what's called an Eaton Charlin load reactive valve. Now what happens inside this valve is as you turn the steering wheel, fluid is redirected out of the two lines that go down to the front axle and move your cylinder back and forth. If anything excessive happens inside the steering system, like your tire hits a rock, you will feel the movement in the steering wheel. It just makes for a more comfortable experience when you're driving these vehicles off-road. The most important thing to remember when you're mounting the Charlin valve is ensure that the U-joints that go up to your steering wheel aren't binding and also ensure that the fluid connections are tight and they don't leak because there's a lot of pressure and a lot of fluid in this one spot. Control of the tires is done with a two and three quarter inch, eight inch stroke ram. Now, PSC will determine what ram you need for your system, determined by how much steering angle or throw you have on the front axle, as well as the size of the tires that you're trying to control. You can also add a second ram to your system with a joystick by adding a steer axle on the back of your buggy and have four wheel steer. Fluid that comes out of the cylinder then goes back through the orbital valve and returns to the steering reservoir. Now, as we said before, the only important thing to remember about the reservoir is to mount it high enough that it's actually gravity feeding the pump. But the fluid that leaves the orbital and goes to the reservoir, it's a good idea to run it through a cooler before it gets back into the reservoir. Now this is a cutaway of the PSC Motorsports extruded aluminum cooler and you can see how the fins go deep into the fluid passage on the inside of the cooler and then extend to the outside of it. This helps dissipate some of the heat that's built up in your power steering system from your pump as it's turning these large wheels and tires. Now this can definitely help extend the life of things like your pump and your cylinders if you do a lot of serious off-roading. And that's it. Those are the main components that make up a PSC Motorsports full hydraulic steering system. For information on PSC Motorsports components, head on over to pscmotorsports.com.